Okay, so we are back with another video on Forex and how to trade the four basic chart patterns. Okay, so I'm going to go through the four patterns that you absolutely must know if you are new to trading or you are just looking to trade Forex or basically any instrument. Okay, you need to know these four patterns. Okay, so let me start by talking about the first pattern, what a double top is. Okay, so a double top actually looks like this. Let me just draw it out for you. Okay, this is how a double top looks like. Okay, and then I'll explain to you uh, how do you use it and uh, you know when does this happen? When should you look for um, this pattern? Okay, so a double top looks like this. Okay, so as the name suggests, uh, you have two tops. So you have the uh, left top and then you have the right top. Okay, pretty straightforward. So when do you use a double top, right? So you can see over here that a price has to be coming up first, right? So a double top is actually used when uh, you are trying to trade a reversal, okay? So you have an uptrend and you're trying to uh, trade, you're trying to sell it, right? You're trying to sell into the so-called uptrend. You're looking for a change in trend, okay? So how do you do it is uh, traditionally you will uh, draw what is known as the neckline, okay? You draw uh, a horizontal line like this, okay? And what you will do is uh, you will wait for price to close uh, below this, uh, below this uh, neckline, okay? Now that's the traditional way of trading, okay? Uh, personally, I don't like to trade this way, okay? I like to use a uh, so-called a modified uh, double top, okay? So let me explain to you uh, how do we do that. Okay, so what I normally do is I will use a trend line. Okay, I'll use a trend line. I'll draw a trend line and I'll wait for um, price to break the trend line and we test the trend line uh, with the second top. So essentially what, if, what I'll do is I'll look for a price to break and the trend line, okay, uh, break it, we test over here and I'll look for the entry at the second top, okay? The reason why I don't like to wait for um, price to break the neckline is because uh, your stop loss, I mean, if you follow the default uh, you know, um, trading textbook, it has to be above the recent high. So your stop loss can be very wide and you know your reward uh, probably is quite little. Your risk to reward is gonna be very bad. So for me, I like to modify this pattern by uh, using the trend line rule, okay? So if you don't know how to draw the trend line, uh, you're new to trading, that's fine, okay? We have a video on how to uh, draw a trend line. So just check that out uh, in one of our videos, okay? So that's how we modify, so-called modify this pattern, okay? So uh, that's for double top, okay? Of course, this modifier can be applied to uh, each of these other patterns, okay? I will show it to you. So let's move on to uh, the second pattern. Okay, so let me just clear things up here. Okay, so the second pattern is actually the same thing. It's no different, okay? It's a double bottom. It's in the shape of a W, okay? The double top is in the shape of an M. The double bottom is in the shape of a W. So as you can see over here, you have a first bottom and then you have the second bottom. And that explains why it's called double bottom. But it's not rocket science. It's pretty straightforward. Okay, so when does a double bottom happen or when should you look for a double bottom? Right, you have a bearish price movement coming down. Okay, it means price is declining. And then you make a bottom, retrace, make another bottom. So essentially, you are looking for a uh, reversal to the upside. Okay, so just like the uh, double top, what you can do is uh, you can draw the neckline, which is at this uh, mid point here and wait for price to break above to confirm that the trend has reversed, okay? So same thing, right? There's nothing wrong with, uh, you know, waiting for the net, net line to be broken and then, you know, you take a trade to the upside, okay? There's nothing wrong. But uh, personally, uh, I don't like to trade this way. I think that uh, it's, it's, it's not wise. So for me, I prefer to, uh, as I said, just like before, I like to draw a trend line Okay, let me just uh, adjust this first. 
eight. Just a moment. For me, I like to draw a trend line and I like to see that price is, uh, you know, broke out of this trend line and we test the uh, trend line again, which is actually at the uh, first bottom. So right, you're getting a confluence of, uh, you know, confluence of confirmation, right? Confluence means that uh, you have multiple uh, reasons to take a trade, okay? So if you do it this way, then you will have the uh, previous um, bottom, right, as uh, the first factor. And second bottom will be a, the uh, uh, second touch will be the um, break and retest of the trend line, okay? So that's how you trade this pattern with a tighter stop. And also, uh, you know, you catch it early, okay? So let's move on to the next pattern, right? I just clear this up. Okay, let's talk about the uh, head and shoulders pattern. Okay, so the head and shoulders pattern is actually a uh, reversal pattern, okay? Uh, it's a, let me just draw it first. Okay, this is the head and shoulders pattern over here. Okay, let me just run through this pattern with you. That's how I did for the previous uh, patterns. Then I explain to you my secret way of uh, trading it. Okay, so now this is a head and shoulders pattern. Okay, why is it called head and shoulders? Uh, because it kind of look like a person, right? With a left shoulder, the head, and then the right shoulder. Okay, so this is how it looks. So if you were to trade it traditionally, or you know you read trading books, or you know you watch other trading, you know YouTube videos, you will see that uh, they will tell you, okay, trade when a uh, price uh, you know breaks below this trend line. Okay, again, there's nothing wrong with this. Okay, but um, I don't like to trade like this. Okay, I don't trade it like that. Okay, so this is used when uh price is actually going up, right? You have a bullish trend, and you are looking to trade uh for reversal to the downside. Right, so for there to be a reversal, there must be a chart pattern, okay? Either a uh, double top or a head and shoulders. So in this case, uh, we're talking about head and shoulders, okay? So how do I use the trend line in this case, right? I'll draw a trend line, connect the low, right? Make sure that uh, this low is connected, okay? Again, if you don't know how to draw a trend line, right? Watch our other videos, okay? I will teach you, okay? So what happens is price breaks the trend line and we test, we are looking for entry at uh, this, uh, this level, okay? If you want to be more advanced, you can also use a uh, Fibonacci tool to increase your probability, right? Because if you do it this way, you will have a uh, higher resistance over here, right? If, you know, the left shoulder and right shoulder is symmetrical, then you have uh, one factor, you know, one so-called uh, good, good indicator that this level is good number two you have a fibonacci level and number three you have the uh, trend line okay this is a very high probability trade okay you can uh, use this but again this is more advanced okay we do have a uh, fibonacci video on how to use a fibonacci tool uh, but i mean that's how you can actually combine everything to increase your probability okay so this is how we trade the uh, head and shoulders we try to enter it at the right shoulder, okay, rather than uh, you know enter it at the neckline, which is pretty uh, you know, late, okay. So let's talk about the last pattern. Let me just clear this up. Okay, the last pattern is a inverted head and shoulders. So, uh, it's actually just the opposite of a uh, head and shoulders, right? It's just the opposite. I mean, it's called inverted head and shoulders. So of course it's inverted, right? It's just the same thing, okay? So actually these four basic chart patterns is not exactly uh, four chart patterns. It's actually two patterns which are, you know, two unique patterns, right? The other two are just the uh, opposite of it. Just, you know, flip it over and uh, you, you actually get the same thing, okay? So if you need to remember, just remember two. Right? Just remember double top and uh, head and shoulders. And uh, for the, you know, the other side, just, just reverse it, okay? So right here, we have a inverted head and shoulders. So you have the first uh, shoulder, then you have the head, then you have the right shoulder, okay? So same thing like the uh, head and shoulders pattern. Uh, this is the neckline, right? Basically, the uh, this two 
to connect the this midpoint and this midpoint to get the neckline. Okay, if you want to trade it traditionally, then you look for a break above the neckline for a confirmation that uh, the trend has reversed. Okay, so when should you look for this uh, inverted head and shoulders? Uh, when price has been declining, right? And you want to look for a reversal up, okay? That's when you look for a uh, re uh, inverted head and shoulders, okay? So that's the normal way of uh, trading, right? Uh, you know, wait, wait for the trend line to be broken, okay? But uh, let me show you my way of trading it, okay? My way of trading it involves looking for a trend line, right? I'm going to repeat this again. Okay, you draw a trend line down, okay? And uh, let me just adjust this, okay? So, okay. So it's just like before, you wait for the trend line to break above, close above the trend line. We test it, right, with confluence to uh, this side, right? Ideally, it's about the same height, ideally, okay? Now it's important to note that, um, if you implement this trend line rule, so to speak, then not every single uh, you know, pattern is tradable, right? Because sometimes, as you can see, uh, the market doesn't uh, retest the uh, trend line. Sometimes, you know, I mean, it does happen, right? Sometimes what price does is it just, uh, you know, it just do a shallow retracement and it just starts rallying. I mean, this happens, right? Sometimes you have a, you know, you have a deeper, you know, the left shoulder is uh, lower, and then you have this, right? So it's never perfect. We don't have a perfect situation, okay? So do note that if you decide to implement so-called this uh, trend line rule into all of your chart patterns, then there are going to be patterns that you miss out on, okay? But if you do your backtesting and you actually try it out, right, you'll come to realize that, uh, that this will actually enhance your uh, trading uh, probability a lot, you increase your hit rate a lot, and you increase your uh, risk to reward. You, yeah, you increase your reward to risk ratio, sorry. Right, that means for every dollar you put in, you can potentially make more money. Okay, and that's what uh, you want. Okay, so this video talks about the four chart patterns that you need to know, but really there are actually two chart patterns, two unique chart patterns that you need to be able to identify. Okay, we talk about how to use the trend line rule to actually get a better entry, right? To increase your probability, get a better entry, and increase your reward to risk ratio. Okay, so now before I end off, right, I'd like to give you a free gift. Okay, right, we have a free day trading guide in the description uh, section below. Right, just look at the description below. Right, there should be a link for you to download your free day trading guide. Okay, so if you are new to trading and you have not, you know, found a profitable strategy or you know you know you need some guidance right make sure you download our uh, our free pdf guide okay how to day trade for living is free okay make sure you also subscribe to this channel because uh, we do provide a lot of uh, videos like this right we give you additional tricks and tips to tweak uh, whatever you actually learn from textbook okay you can see that this concept over here is actually not uh, taught by uh, textbooks as in the trend line rule, it's not something that you can learn in a textbook. Okay, it's something that you spend a lot of money, you know, going for classes, you know, testing it ourselves to actually find out that, hey, this concept works, right? But don't take my word for it. Test it on your own, and I'm sure you will find, uh, you, you come to the same conclusion, okay? So that's it for this video. Make sure you download a copy, hit the subscribe button, and we'll see you in the next video.